It is absolutely correct. This tool can really make you a 10x developer. But before you actually go ahead and try to understand this unique developer productivity tool, you really need to understand two very important things. The first being, any productivity tool is not going to make you a productive right out of the box. It's not a magic that's going to happen overnight. You really need to incorporate these tools into your daily workflow. Until unless you find out a use case and a daily workflow usage of this tool, you won't be able to make it so far into the tool. Eventually, you will get frustrated with it and that's not the one thing which I really want you to do. Similarly, things like Notion or maybe you are using Basecamp for other productivity tools. This is exactly that, but this tool is absolutely different. This is focused on developer and the best thing about it is, it is designed by developers, keeping in mind developers and absolutely targeting developers and that is why I absolutely love it. This brings me to the point number two of this video, which is productivity tool. I really can understand that you have been using a lot of productivity tools already in the past. I have been doing the same as well. Now productivity tools changes over the time. Now a lot of people use Notion just like me. I use them a lot. I also sometimes use Basecamp because it's also useful. But there is one thing which I absolutely don't like about these tools. These tools are designed with a variety of audience in their mind. Maybe an agency, maybe a digital marketing, maybe somebody who writes blog or maybe a team collaboration. There is so far nobody who is addressing the fact that developer also needs productivity tool. And the requirement of developers are very unique. They are absolutely like, how do I say it? They are unique requirements that cannot be fulfilled with Notion, but still we are using Notion as a hack. Yes, it happens to me as well. I also use Notions to keep a track of lots of my boilerplate code, a lot of gist, a lot, for, a lot of useful code snippets. I keep them in Notion and then I keep on hunting them in the Notion when I require them next time. Probably right now I am too much aggressively going into React and JavaScript, but I also work in Django. I also work in Angular and finding those snippets, useful commands, it's always a hunt over the internet. I always look up into variety of documentation and Stack Overflow. And I would have loved it that if there would be a page in Notion that actually gives me everything, but Notion doesn't work out of the box for that. That's the reason why I say sometimes these tools are just hackably used for other purposes which they are, were not intentionally being there. Now I found out this great tool which you are absolutely 100% going to love it. And the reason why you are going to love it, it's available for all platform, Mac, Windows, Linux. It's absolutely free. Yes, you heard the word right. It's absolutely free. It's also available right into your browser, whichever browser you're using, Chrome or whatever you're using. I use majorly Chrome. It was there right there. It was also available to me right in the VS code. And if you're using JetBrains set of tools, it was available right there. So it addresses all of my problems and I'll show you some of the use cases which I absolutely love about it. Now there is no incentive that you sh I should be using this product, but since it makes my life so much easier, that is the only reason why I'm sharing this with you. It's absolutely free, there is no money involved in this one, so hey, it is worth giving a try and I thought it's worth sharing with, with all of you so that you can also become a little bit more productive. So let me show you what this tool is about. Let me bring it to you onto my screen. So uh, let me just get it to you. Here is my screen and I'll open this up. So this is the tool. Now I have been using this tool for a while, but here is the thing. I have been not just anyways using it for my personal purpose. I was using this with another account so that first I can test it for 10 days, whether it is worth recommending to my user or not to all the people who watch me on the YouTube. And yes, I tried it and that's why after using it for 10 days, now I'm recommending it. I'll show you all the workflows, all the use cases that I've been using it. So what is this tool? Uh, this tool is actually pieces for developer. And by the way, in case you are not familiar with this tool, uh, take a look on these photos. In these photos, you can see just right behind Satya Nadella, these tools were featured. So yes, they are not ordinary tools. They are going to shine in the upcoming future. They are new here right now, but they, will, uh, they are going to have a blast. So this is a tool for developers and this is the one line which I absolutely love. Intention is to make the developer's life easier, which I'm a big fan of it. The tools between you and your developer. Now, yes, I checked it. This is available for a lot of places. They do have a GitHub repository as well. And you can see a lot of places like it's available on desktop app, Chrome extension, JetBrains plugin, VS Code plugin. Yep, it's available for almost every place. And just to show you, yes, I tried it, looked it up for 
Uh, this is the app. So it's available on the Chrome as well. I already have installed the extension. I'll show you the use case, which I'm using it right now. It's all available on Microsoft Store as well. Yes, you can try it. I tried it there as well before making a video. And these are some of the use cases where we are going to actually take a look on this, that how this tool can be useful. All right, so this is available. So what this tool is all about, first of all, this is how it looks like. We are going to just make an account on this one, a fresh one. So here it is. You can just click on this one and you can connect your cloud integration so that everything syncs. And I'll just click on this here. And I would love to connect it now with the Google. I've been previously using it with one of the other account, which I don't use it. But now it's the time that we simply go ahead. You click on it, simply just continue with Google. Or if you want to make an account, just go with that. I'll just select my account because this is the one that I'll be using it for and you'll be seeing this in the upcoming videos. And that's it. That's all it takes. Now it's all done. And you can see at the very top, it gets the pieces. You can use it into other formats as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fire the pieces just like this. All right. So now this is all connected and all good. Now I can simply go ahead and use it my personal domain. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, claim this one. So yeah, pieces, hitesh.pieces.cloud. I think that's the one. So here we go. Uh, thank goodness I took this domain. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I have to give it a full name. It's probably going to take a few seconds. And by the way, do you know this app is totally designed in Flutter? Yes, I'll make a separate video on this. But this, this app actually changed my mind and my perspective about what I think about Flutter. This alone app actually did it. So here, this is going to probably take some time. Uh, probably my internet is not that best uh, probably today. Uh, so hopefully, uh, we'll come back onto this one. Now, what you have to do is you can add a simple snippets here. Now, it looks very simple that I can just add a snippet, but there's so much more to it. So let's just try with the use simple snippets just like this. First, click on add snippets and now you can paste any snippets or the snippet discoveries there. I'll walk you through with all of the use cases and some scenarios which I'll be using. So let's just say this is a uh, Clipboard is empty right now, so let's go on to uh, MDN Docs and try to find some of the uh, JavaScript. Uh, what do we want? Uh, maybe for each, for each loop, and we, we are going to go MDN. This is just an example, but I'll walk you through with some complex use case scenario as well. So probably this is the one as a snippet I want to keep it. So I'll go on to the pieces. I would love to have it on the copy paste. It was on my clipboard. That's it. That is it. Now, the best thing, which you'll absolutely love, everything is searchable here, okay? Not only that, you can actually click on this and you can edit your snippets. Obviously, that's a basic one. And apart from this, you can copy it, no problem at all. You can share it with people. This is where the first use case comes in. So imagine this. So let's just say I want to teach you a project which involves some of the Next.js libraries, some of the other libraries, and I want to give you a package.json file. What I have to do is just copy and paste all of the package.json files so that you can just download this or just copy paste this uh, snippets and can have npm install and start working on it. How convenient is this for me? I can just click on this shareable link. Obviously, it will generate a shareable link for me. And that's it. That is it. You can just now copy this link. Let's open up a instance of this one incognito mode. There we go. And uh, that's it. The pieces snippet is going to be available within a second. There we go. It's loading this. Uh, my internet is a little jittery today, so please excuse me for that. All you have to do here is come and copy this. That's it. Paste it into your package.json file, start npm install, and that's it. Start the tutorial. That is so much of the convenient. Not only that, as you can see, it is also giving me some description. You can write your own custom description. You can write your tags. Who created this? I created this. So it's taking all of the information from my account. There are some related links as well, which are also featuring also similar kind of information. So they automatically does this for you. So let's go back onto the pieces. So there we go. I'll just close this one. So there are a lot of information. You can change and edit the description. All the things that you saw it, this is the description. You can scroll this context preview and everything there. You can also click on this and just change the shareable link, the description, probably you don't like the tags, probably you don't like the related articles, or I can just embed my own YouTube tutorial in the related article because I'll be creating tutorials for it. So much useful just right out of the box and it's all free. Uh, so notice I can add sensitive information and whatnot. So there is so much. I can manage so many of the things, sensitive information like environment variables and all of this. If I want to share it, I can just go ahead and do this out of the box. Rename, duplicate, there's so much more here. Now, this is just the basics. Right now, everything is searchable. So if I go ahead and search for this, obviously this is going to search it throughout my snippets. I don't have to go through with 
tons and tons of articles at, and Stack Overflow to find the snippet again. Now, what might going to what is going to impress you a little bit more is uh, I have actually installed it on a couple of more places, so I'll walk you through with that. So, uh, next piece. This is my VS Code, and this is one of the projects where we worked on on connecting the backends. That's probably normal, and you'll be doing this. This is a code snippet here which connects my application with MongoDB. This is one of the best way which I always recommend, and I try to do this every single time. This is an iffy, so it doesn't pollute my other variables which are available in the application and just starts out of the box into this file, in the index file. I want that this should all be snippet saved so that next time I'm creating another application, this should be available to me right out of the box. All I have to do is select everything, right click, and I have to say, hey, save this to pieces. That is it. That is it. I told you, workflow is the most important thing. You need to understand the use cases. Hey, I've just saved it. Now let's go ahead and open the pieces. And there we go. Here is the Mongoose connection. That is it. That is it. I can share this now with you. Every single time I have to write a tutorial, I have built a file. I can just put a link in the description. Hey, here is your snippet in case you are facing any problem. You don't need to go through with the GitHub with thousands of files which are there, which are also useful in their use case. But I can just share it with you. I can see a thousand use cases here. No, not only this, this is just the one use case. So I'll just minimize this and you can save as many as you like. That's why I'm saying this is developer first. That's why I'm super excited about this. All right, uh, moving further. Let's just say this is one tutorial where I was teaching you about the app, right? How you can do a logout. Really amazing, really, really amazing. Now what you can do is take a screenshot of this. Yes, this is the amazing thing. I can just take a screenshot and I have taken this specific screenshot just at this moment to show you some use case. So I'll just go ahead and take a screenshot of this one. Now let me bring up the pieces again. And hey, I want to create a new snippet. And this time you can drag and drop an image. So why not? Why not to drag and drop an image? Let me show you that. Let me drag and drop this. So this is the image that I have. And I'll just drag and drop from my desktop. Let me just add this. Probably I missed it. And there we go. We're going to drag and drop this. Oh, probably I need to. Pieces successfully saved. That's it. That is it. It's a, uh, uh, probably no, uh, probably probably I'm doing something wrong in here. Uh, let me try this again. Yes, I want to delete this pieces. No problem at all. I'll add this. It worked absolutely fine. Probably I'm doing something wrong. And it should be, it should be working just out of the box. Just give me a second. I'll just fix this one. All right, so it was my bad. Uh, you don't need to even click on add snippets. If you just open your, your pieces, you simply have to drag and drop this. That is it. Notice here, PNG image with TypeScript. And notice here, this is now giving you this. Now you are not saving just the image. You can just click on view as code. It interprets everything as a code. Yes, this makes life so much easier. Your tutorials now are just a second away that you can simply go ahead and just take a screenshot of that YouTube tutorial and just bring it into your code. Notice here, which is the best thing I like about it. This is the context preview. So it actually walks you through what we are doing. We are doing a JavaScript await keyword. It is deleting the session, which is correct. It is based on AppWrite, 100% correct. And if I don't like it, I can just go ahead and manipulate this. Hey, generate a shareable link so that people can also find out that this is the method that was used for logging it out. There is so much more onto this one. And now you can use it as view as image, or I can just copy this. That's it, that is it how easy this is. I actually tried that with a couple of more codes. So I tried with this one as well uh, to actually make sure that I understand properly this is working. So this is all you have to do. It actually uh, just gets everything. You can click on view as code. And again, you can just grab everything. I can view it as image. This is so much useful. So not just only this, I have a couple of more use cases. So I found it, it's really great for you. You can just take a screenshot. It keeps everything on your system. Just, hey, follow my tutorial and take a screenshot and just paste it into your pieces. That's why I'm saying this. This is so much of a fantastic tool. Not only that, I actually went up onto the hash node uh, to find out that if I can find something more because there is a Chrome extension in case you forget about this. So this is JavaScript closure made easy. Okay, uh, this article was written by Krishna Kumari. Okay, great. This is a great basic closure example. Probably I'm preparing for my interviews. Notice here, it says copy and save and there's a shareable link as well. So all I have to do is, probably I don't like this one, probably I like this one, data encapsulation with closure. This is a great example. I would love to copy and save this one. And you have to just click it, copy, saved, done, done, that's it. Now all I have to do is use my pieces and there we go, creating a person, it, it gets up here. 
I can search it. Probably I'm using all the... There are a lot of views as well in case... Like this is another view which I like a lot. There's a list view, there's this view. You can search it, there's a list view, there's a gallery as well in case you want to like that. And there's global search, snippet discovery. I don't like their snippet discovery much. I like to create my own snippets because it's my useful workflow. All of this you can actually use your gist so in case you have been using github for this bring in everything from your gist and use it up here that is one of the fantastic example of here i'll just go back to the list view because this is my favorite and i can add snippets so notice here you can add your snippets you can use a plugin which i've been using you can import from the gist i'll do that some of the uh, important snippets are there on my github as well so i'll just bring them you can use a file you can describe a snippet create from scratch or explore their curated list not a big fan not a big fan out there. Uh, I tried their Dart as well. I told you, this one is actually built in Flutter. So obviously they have Dart snippets as well. Uh, I'll just say, I'll use my own. I, I'll use my own. That is what I love about the developer tools. Make it your own. That's where the control is. Uh, I found a couple of more as well. Probably you want to style. So this is another one by Brandon. So probably I want to save some another snippets, which makes my life a little easier. Probably this snippets, probably this snippet entirely. All I have to do is, ah, by the way, uh, in case you don't find this one, you can actually select everything just like here and right click and say, hey, I want to save this to pieces. <laughs> there are a lot of things that I've already taken care. Save this and that's it. It's now in your uh, snippets. That is, that is love. I found a lot of use cases for this one, especially while teaching uh, a lot of things. So I'll be using this a lot. So expect a lot of pieces in the description section where you can simply just go ahead, click on it, grab your code and that's it. Probably let's come back. Probably you like this one. So you can simply go ahead and generate a link for this one. Hey, I want to generate a link. Let's go ahead and copy this. Come on, do it a little faster. My internet is absolutely bad today. Uh, copy this, uh, come back onto this one and I'll show you, of course, on the incognito mode and there we go it's probably going to take a second that's all because of my internet <laughs> okay so it's loading uh, the snippets and there we go the example is here it gives you a nice description uh, because I didn't change it that's why it is auto generating this uh, when I'll be sharing the link with my custom snippets that I'm actually going to share you while teaching you some stuff obviously in the flutter as well very soon you can just copy this oh, this is so good so just copy this, copy the code, go back on to, let's just say our VS code. So this is our VS code, where is our VS code? This is our VS code, I have to just open up a new file, paste it, there we go. It works right out of the box, so good. So that is why I thought that this is a great piece of software. I think everybody should know about it and a couple of use cases that I'll be using it. I love the best. One of my favorite ones for as a student perspective is take screenshot. This is what I absolutely love about it. Take screenshot and just move it to the pieces. And by the way, uh, I forgot to give you a tour of the website. Uh, I, I thought I was more excited about the product itself. So that's why I didn't walk to on to the product itself. So you can see there are plugins available for VS Code, JetBrains, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and they are available on Windows and everything. So yeah, that's okay. It's absolutely free. And by the way, they are also, yeah, you heard it. You saw it. You saw it. I'll probably talk more about that. If there is a request, you want me to share more of these things and more of the hacks that you can use to improve your productivity as a developer, just let me know and I'll walk you through some of my personal uh, walkthroughs and productivity hacks that I use and I'm going to be using this with the software. So go ahead and uh, share it with me here. So this is all some of the personal uh, sharing of what I use as a daily driver to increase my productivity. Hope you have liked it. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you want to know more about such things, do let me in the, know in the comment section. I would love to share it with you. Real excited to check out this amazing product. You also check it out. Link is in the description section and it's absolutely a free product. So no need to worry. So that's it for this video and let's go ahead and catch up in the next one.